Joining us now, Democratic Congressman Ted Lieu of California. He's a member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee and the Judiciary Committee. Congressman, it's good to see you this morning. Uh, your reaction to the news, we uh, knew this was coming, but now it's official. Finland joining the alliance. What's the significance here? So both Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump wanted to weaken NATO. And with Putin's illegal invasion of Ukraine, the exact opposite has now happened. We now have a stronger, more unified, larger NATO. There's no way Putin can spin this any other way to his people and to his elites. So this is a good sign for NATO, for the United States, and it's really bad for Russia. We've heard from a few voices, but it's not a majority, certainly even among Republicans in the Congress saying we need to not give a blank check to Ukraine. Maybe it's time to walk away from Ukraine or at least reevaluate our support from Ukraine. Uh, what is your sense among the membership, Democrat and Republicans, about the now more than a year in the continued support of Ukraine? So you see Speaker McCarthy do all these stupid hearings because of false right wing talking points. So last week we had a stupid hearing in the Foreign Affairs Committee on this supposed blank check to Ukraine and the three inspector generals of the Department of State, USAID, and also of DOD testified that there was no blank check. They have been aggressive and looking for fraud, and to date they have found none. So, Congressman, you mentioned Donald Trump. Obviously, the nation right now is coming to grips with the fact that a former president of the United States has been charged with a crime. Just wanted to get your reaction to that, what it says to the health of our democracy, but also your concerns about the campaign to come. Look, any American who engaged in 34 acts of falsifying business records would have been indicted. Donald Trump is entitled to the presumption of innocence in a court of criminal law. A judge or jury is going to determine if he is guilty, and we should let our judicial branch do its job without political interference. That is the American way. What happens to, the, to uh, the funding of the war in Ukraine or the middle of the summer, late summer, depending on the spring offensive that Ukraine is about to wage, apparently? What happens to that funding? So we have funding through our appropriations process, and that is good till this fall. If Speaker McCarthy can't get his caucus together, uh, that funding is going to be at risk for next year. Hopefully, we can come together and continue to fund Ukraine. A lot of that has to do with sort of their MAGA extremists and whether Speaker McCarthy can rein them in. Mm. So, Congressman, the artificial intelligence has yeah. become a big topic of conversation in Washington. President Biden himself had a meeting with science advisors talking about the advantages but also the risks of AI. You've written a bill in AI. I guess the AI wrote the bill. Right. Uh, so you're not obviously opposed to it, but you have written a piece saying, um, I get AI and it kind of scares the heck out of me in several ways. How are you looking at chat GPT and these other functions that are really becoming prevalent now? Uh, as a recovering computer science major, uh, I think AI is incredible and unbelievable. It's already benefited society. And my best analogy is it's like the steam engine, which was quite disruptive to society. But in a few years, it's going to become a warp drive with a personality, and we are not prepared for that. So, so what do you mean by that, a warp drive with a personality? What are the impacts you see coming? It's going to make many human tasks easier and replace a number of human tasks. So, for example, if you're an architect, right now you could say, hey, I want these blueprints of a house of a certain size, two floors, three bathrooms, and out pops a blueprint. Now, do we still need architects to make sure that blueprint isn't crazy? We do but we need less of them, and each of them becomes more efficient. Well, what do we do with that when every passing year more and more people have skills that society doesn't need or needs less of? So it's going to be significant job disruption. People can basically do the same thing in a four-day work week that they do now. What do we do with that? Do we move to a four-day work week? So there's all sorts of disruptions that could happen, and AI can kill us, right? If your phone malfunctions, it's not going 65 miles per hour. But if a car malfunctions with AI, it can kill people. So I have legislation right now that I'm working on to make sure that we can have sensible regulation, and it's going to create a blue ribbon bipartisan commission to make recommendations to Congress on what types of AI we should regulate and how we might go about doing so. And it's coming fast, so it's probably time for some of that. C conversation we will continue. Congressman Ted Lieu of California, thanks for being here this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you.